Hi, this is my second video for today. Um, and so, this is this week's video, and um, I realized after I made the first video that I look kind of crappy, but whatever. So, um, I, this week is, if we're planning on living stealth or out, um, so, I'm mostly stealth, um, with gender identity and sexual orientation there's lots of spectrums, and within those spectrums there's more spectrums, and the decision on being stealth or out, I feel, is also a spectrum, um, where I prefer to live stealth, um, but I have lots of friends, obviously all my friends from high school, um, if they know that I am male now, they know that I'm transgender, um, by default, um, and I have no problem with that as long as they don't out me in spaces where it would be unsafe or where I am already stealth, um, but in my classes and stuff, um, clubs that I'm in at work, I am stealth, um, the reason I can be stealth at work is because I work for the university, and the uni university has a pretty good um, diversity department, and within that, they, before I came up here, they had some good stuff for transgender individuals, and then last year, at the end of last school year, they added um, a preferred name field um, on all documents, so that's not only for, like, transgender people, but, like, on our ID cards and rosters and stuff, if your, like, name is Nicholas and you go by Nick, then you can have that, so then professors don't have to ask you anymore, um, so that's cool, um, but yeah, so I'm mostly stealth. Um, I have made some friends up here who I've come out to, but they're either also queer people or found out because they're friends with the queer people who know. <laughs> um, like, there's a group of people that I only hang out with these people when we're all hanging out in a group, and so they all know, um, they all kind of found out different ways, but, um, don't give me that look, um, so, yeah, I mean, cause I like to be able to talk about high school and, like, stuff that happened to me, um, when I was living as female, that if they happened to a cis male, it would be kind of weird, like one time my mom thought I was pregnant, and so like, cis guys, moms don't usually think their son is pregnant, um, so like, stuff like that, and like fun stories from when I played softball, and um, I was on the girls golf team and stuff in high school, so it's kind of nice, or, like talking about the fact that I did go to prom my freshman year with a guy and I definitely wore a dress, like, I've shown some of them pictures of that to be like, look at how crazy I used to look and stuff like that, and so, it's nice to be able to be open, I guess. Um, as for the future, um, I'm planning on being stealth just because it's easier, I guess. Um, like, after I get my name changed and my gender marker changed and stuff like that, um, really, employers won't need to know, um, other than maybe, like, the person that does my background check, because they're gonna be like, where did those first 20 years of your life, where are those, um, 
or like HR or anything. Um, I also see myself working for companies. My dream job would be with SpaceX. Um, and so they're, I haven't like looked into their diversity stuff, but they seem like pretty cool people um, with that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I don't see it being a thing where, like, people are talking in the break room every day about, like, offensive things and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, I can only see things getting easier for transgender people in the future. Um, it might be in the direct future it might get a little rough um, trying to get laws and health insurance things changed but for like the next generation I can definitely see um, you know they won't have nearly as many battles as we do and part of that will just be that our generation will be the adult generation if you will um, so our generation is a lot more relaxed about these types of issues, in my opinion, and my experiences. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I totally respect people who want to be 100% stealth, and I totally respect people who want to, like, run around with a trans flag as a cape, and they're top surgery scars showing, or even if they don't get top surgery, <laughs> their bare chest showing, or whatever they want, um, that's cool. This is my personal plan, um, so, yeah, I'll see you all, well, I actually don't see you guys, you will all see me in a week, hopefully. I don't have any exams next week that I know of, so, yeah, alright, see ya.